we back with another episode. It's season four. It's a salty springs drop. Let's get into the episode. So right off the chest, a player actually enters the house really late, but he realizes I'm here and decides to run out. I'm chasing him down. He goes into this bush. Playing a bit safe because I don't know if he's got a weapon. Realize he doesn't and it's an easy kill. Right after the kill, I hear gunshots to the south. And I want to get on top of this house because sometimes there's players above here and there actually is. Quick two shots and easy as that. So right now, just getting elims based off of aim accuracy. That's all it is right now. Right after that kill, we hear some more gunshots to the east. If you didn't know though, you can see, I'm pretty sure you know, but if you didn't, you can see red dots where you've heard gunshots from. Most likely someone's going to be in this portal fort. So we're building, we're crouch building. Yeah, you do make less noise when you're crouching on the metal builds. So we do that. Kind of catch him off squad. Bit of lag there. And again, just literally right now, just winning duels purely off aim. See a player go to, it looks like he was trying to get to the slurp truck. And he's off, so I'm going to chase him. So finally catch up to him, trying to get off a quick shot before he sees me. Fortunately, I missed my shot. So now I'm building up towards him. Always want to get high ground if you can. He boxes up. You always want to put pressure while, when they're boxed up. So you have two options here. Either you want to take the ward from the outside or you want to phase through. He tries to get out. I wall him in. Now I want to get his pyramid, which I do. Now we're just in a 1v1 dual lane and I come out on top. So mainly peace control there is what won me the fight. After that kill, we got a decent mat, so I decided to upgrade my shotty to, let's see. So we upgraded to the blue shotty. I could upgrade to the purple, but uh, I would be low. I would be quite low mats, and I don't really want to play with that low of mats. Here a helicopter, and we're definitely engaging. We ain't seen no one in about, I don't know how long. It feels like eternity, but we engage with this fight. I actually, oh, okay. So I didn't know, but you could roll away. I did not know that he, so he literally rolled away there and I didn't know you could do that. I didn't even see him roll away. So here I'm boxed up. I got shot from different angles. There's two trees in my way. So I quickly pickaxe them down. And after that, we're going to box up and see where we got shot from. So the guy he pushes me. Actually, he doesn't push me. And then we get shot from another angle. There's quite a few people here. But he's just camping there. I can see him. Nothing really happens. I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do. But he's playing safe. Got for two angles here. Knew he's going to edit sometimes. So I was just waiting for the edit. Now I'm getting boxed in. Face through here again. Face through is so important. It just gets you into the box as quick as possible. And it doesn't matter about whose ping is better. So I missed a couple of shots. And then finally hit my shot. So if you watch that fight again. Literally it's just me waiting to see what the enemy is going to do. While uh, weakening his build. So I can go in with a one pickaxe. So I swap out a few things. Get the shockwave and some, and some floppers. Here a second enemy enter the fight. Get out of that box. He still thinks I'm in that box. Edit out. Quick tag there. Box up and then a quick edit. So right there, right after your shotgun shot, you do want to place builds. Always place builds after a shotgun shot. That's just a good habit to be in. So now I can finally upgrade to the purple shotty, which is what I wanted to do. So we spot two players here. Block the second player's angle on me. And we're going to go over to this player here. Block one of his exits. Now we're in a build fight. He's got high ground, but he's not really doing much because he's getting shot from the other player. I decided to shoot him down here. And then the other player decides to shoot us down. And that that was pretty lucky what just happened there. But now I got my eyes on the second player. Don't know where he's gone actually. So we go we go back to the car. Finally spot him there. Building towards him, we got high ground. Trying to look for a shot. He's got shockwave grades, unfortunately. Getting with a nice two tag. See him here, getting with some nice tags again. And he makes his way over to the rift. I actually didn't know there was rift spawns until now. So they are rift spawns and they will always spawn. 
So you're welcome. If you didn't know, that's one of the rift spawns. There's always going to be a, a rift here. Trying to get in with those tags, but fortunately we missed. And I realize it does not last a long time. Finally spot someone, but I don't think that was the guy that shot me. Here, I kind of feel bad for this guy, um, but it's solo arena. Getting with some, he, he doesn't want to fight me, but this is solo arena. And plus, I'm almost on a 10, 10 frag. And if, if I wasn't on a 10 frag, I probably would have... Uh, what's the word? You know what? It is what it is, bro. This is solo arena. You can't be trying to make friends in solo arena. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. You have to eliminate them in solo arena. You don't want to take chances. They might eliminate you. So we find a second player. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that shot me. Blocking off our third party angles, getting with a nice tag there. Fortunately, my edit fails and he's, he manages to escape. And I am so pissed at myself for letting him escape. You never want them to be able to escape like this. And he had the Silver Surfer item and so he's jetted off. I couldn't spot him for some reason. But I found him later. Finally hear him here. And he boxes up. This is actually a pretty bad fight. Let's break it down. So he's boxing up again. I'm trying to get to him. Here I was trying to phase through. Unfortunately, my phase through is not consistent. That, that's what cost me to fight here. If I was able to phase through properly there, probably would have been over the fight. But right now I'm wasting more mats. He gets high ground. You've got to be able to pull off your mechanics. Otherwise, it's going to cost you. And it does cost me. It costs me a lot of mats. And it costs me high ground. So now I got a box up, I get tagged a bit. I know I ain't got much mats, so I can't build up to him. And I got to play safe now, and I hate playing safe because of low mats. But it is what it is. Storm's closing in. Now I'm trying to break him down. He finally drops down, but he's still pretty high, it looks like. There's still two other enemies somewhere. I don't know what the hell they're doing. He finds me, now I'm really low on that. Unfortunately, he don't die there. If only he died there. So he's getting sprayed from another guy. Now I'm just, now I'm in desperation. I'm trying to find mats. At least one good thing is happening. The storm is closing. So the guy has to move that's up top and he is hella low. So I spray him down here. Fortunately, missed that shot. Unfortunately, he builds at the last second there. Finally, game with attack. He had the gold pump. Shouldn't have picked that up. Should have gone for his other mats, probably. But it looks like he was low mats, too. We pad out here. Or whatever those things are called. Here, I did not wait. You always want to watch the timer. I thought I popped the fish. And I still had 0.2 seconds to go and that's what cost me the game. So, always watch the timer lads. Cost you unnecessarily. Oh bro, it just cost me the game. Something so easily avoidable by just looking at the timer. I'm not gonna lie, just purely off of the pump shotguns, I'm enjoying season 4. We're gonna end the episode there. Hope you guys enjoy it. I will catch you in the next one.